Now that we've learned how to navigate in SketchUp, let's take a look at creating geometry and building a 3D model fast. We want you to realize how easy it is to use SketchUp and create a real model real fast. In SketchUp, let's click on our rectangle tool and zoom out and let's draw a rectangle from the origin. We'll click once to start our rectangle, move our cursor away from the starting point and let go of the mouse. At this point, we'll type in 10 feet, comma, 10 feet, and press enter. And you notice that in the bottom right-hand corner, our measurements dialog box is telling us our input. Keep in mind that we never actually have to come down here and click in that measurements dialog box. It's always awaiting our input. So we also want to draw another rectangle to create our doghouse. I'm going to click to define my starting point and then move my cursor to suggest a direction. I'll let go of the mouse and type 5 apostrophe comma 3 apostrophe and that's going to make a rectangle at 5 feet by 3 feet. When I press enter it dials in those dimensions. Next let's use the push pull tool. Activate your push pull tool and keep in mind that the hot spot of the push pull tool is at the tip of the red arrow. Position your push pull tool on that new rectangle and we click once to start. Move our cursor to suggest a direction and let go of the mouse. Now I'm going to type in three apostrophe enter. And now we've extruded that rectangle up by three feet. You can see how easy it is to create a lot of geometry really quick and also we can create very accurate geometry with precise input. Next, let's use our line tool. Activate the line tool and we want to draw a line right down the middle of this doghouse to split that top surface in half. So I'm going to hover around on this edge until I find my midpoint. I can click once on my midpoint and move straight back on the green axis and connect the dots to the midpoint at the back and click again to finish. So now we've drawn that line in and we can use our move copy tool to lift that guy up and create a roof. So I'll activate my move copy tool which is up there on our large tool set. Hover on my edge, click once to pick it up, and I'm going to move it straight up on the blue axis. And again, I'm suggesting my direction. I've found my blue axis. It's best to just let go of the mouse and type in 1 8 enter. And now we've drawn this up at exactly 18 inches. Because of the template that we selected, our default units are in inches. So we don't actually have to put the little quotation mark after our 18. SketchUp just assumes that we're thinking in inches. Now that we've created our roof slope, let's give our roof some dimension or thickness. So we'll go to back to our push pull tool. And then I'm going to click once on my angled roof to start my push pull. And then I'm going to tap control or option on the Mac. And so now I'm creating a copy or more of leaving a copy of the starting surface behind. So I suggest my direction by moving my cursor away and I can really exaggerate. I don't have to be real, uh, real precise and keep my mouse down here. I can just move it away, suggest a direction, let go of the mouse and type four enter. And now we've pulled that guy out by exactly four inches. Now the push pull tool also has a memory so we can come over to this side and double click. And when we double click it's going to pull that surface out by exactly four inches. Now that we've created this, this roof thickness we have to kind of adjust this guy to fix it. So I'm going to again hover my push pull tool on that surface that's in the V between those two roof thicknesses. Keep in mind the hot spot of the push pull tool is at the tip of the red arrow. So you notice that it's no longer selected if I put my push pull tool above that edge. I need to put that arrow and on that surface. I will click once to start, but I only want to push pull up as far as that other angled surface. So in SketchUp we can use our inferencing and hover on this surface and it will snap to it and I can click to finish. So now we've matched those guys exactly. Now again with the push pull tool we want to add some roof overhangs. So we can zoom in here and take a look at these roof overhangs. I can double click 
and I can pull that guy out by four inches. Double click here, double click here, and I can move around this guy and add those roof overhangs. So far we've been very accurate with our SketchUp dimensions, but let's take a look at how we can just kind of sketch as well. I can use my rectangle tool and I can draw a door on the front of this. I want to make sure that I start on edge. So with your rectangle tool selected, we want to hover on edge and click once to start and move the cursor away. And I'm just going to eyeball this and click again to finish. So we don't have to be extremely accurate in SketchUp. We can, in fact, be very sketchy and loose with our dimensions. Next, using your arc tool up there on the large tool set, it's that half circle. We'll click on that guy to activate it. And we want to click once on the top left endpoint of that new rectangle. Click again on the top right endpoint, and that's going to set the distance of our arc. But now we need to set the bulge. If you move your mouse around, you can find where it'll snap to a half circle. And so once it snaps to that, I can click again, and now we have that perfect half circle. Now to finish creating our door, we'll use the push-pull tool, and let's push this guy in by four inches. I click once to start, suggest my direction, let go of the mouse, and type four, enter. I can also double click on this semicircle above to push that in at four inches as well.